Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I have some products from the brand Catrice Cosmetics, also known as Cat Rice for my fellow Tati viewers out there. If I'm going to have a favorite beauty YouTuber, why does it have to be the most problematic one of 2020? I miss you, Tati. Come back soon. Anyways, Catrice is a brand that I feel like I have been doing missed connections with on Craigslist. Trendmood doesn't really post about Catrice, so whenever they release something new, I don't really know about it unless it's at Ulta and if I check new releases at Ulta, which let's be real is pretty frequently. So anyways, that's how I caught this new True Skin Hydrating Foundation that they just released. This is their True Skin But Better Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Watermelon Seed Oil. Leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish, medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling, dermatologically approved. So we're gonna check this out, but first I have the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage Under Eye Primer. I also have their liquid camouflage concealer, so I might try this as well today. Lately, I have been using my Milani Supercharged Under Eye Brightening Tint. This product is fantastic. I have loved using it as a primer for my concealer. So I'm a little nervous to try this one because if it's not as good, oh girl, we got some fallout happening under the eyes too. So I'm gonna check this out today and hope that it works as good as my little Milani one. But this is their Silky Smooth Hydrating Primer, which creates the ideal base for Catrice Concealer, reduces the look of fine lines and perfects under eye concealer application. I'm gonna start with this and then we'll do foundation and then concealer because that's how I normally do it. I don't wanna put this on over foundation though. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, I just kind of used the wand to spread it out under my eye. Okay, we're looking glossy under the eyes, so we'll kind of just let that sit. And let's dive into this foundation. So I got the shade 010 Cool Cashmere. Super nice little bottle with a pump, love that. Can you hear that? Liquidy, liquidy, liquidy. So I always get a little confused whenever a product describes itself as a hydrating matte foundation. Seems like a little bit of an oxymoron to me. And that's what this foundation is saying. So we're gonna see. Wow, that's a pretty good color match for me, no? So yeah, I'd say that this foundation is pretty high coverage. Okay, looks good. Blended super easily, super quickly into the skin. And I only got a little bit of it in my hair. <laughs> Very high coverage. So it said like medium to full. It's like, it's pretty full. It does say that you can build it. I think I'm good though. I don't really want to build it. Now I, gosh, you guys, if, if I'm going to have a bad makeup day, worst case scenario is always a bad concealer day. I just hate it when my under eyes start to look like just dry and like creasy and whatnot. So I always get a little bit spooked trying a new concealer, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and, and give this one a go. This is their Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Liquid, high coverage, and ultra long lasting, perfectly camouflages under eye circles, spots, and tattoos, applying small dabs, blah, blah, blah. I got the shade Natural Rose. I've actually had this for a while and I just haven't gotten around to trying it for that reason that I just gave. <laughs> oh, I already don't like something that's happening here. Either the primer or the concealer, I'm not sure. Probably just should have tried one or the other today. <laughs> okay, it looks good. For some reason on this side, it's already wanting to settle. I can only think that that would be because of the, the eye primer, but I don't know because I haven't tried this concealer before. Because my under eyes dry out so easily, I'm going to set my under eyes with this Tuscan Sunshine Powder. I've just found that this one works best for me for setting my concealer but I do have a loose powder from Catrice that I want to try. Mm -hmm. 
So I was debating on whether or not I wanted to use this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it since I have it and we're here and we're doing Catrice products. This is their baking and setting loose powder. The reason why I was hesitant to want to try it today is because it says that it's a mattifying powder. And just because it's winter and everything's so dry, a self-described matte foundation and matte powder seemed like a little bit much, but I do wanna try it. So I'm just gonna lightly set with some of this powder today. I opened this earlier to check it out and I kind of made a mess, but the packaging's really nice. I like this, the like square component. It's really cute. And Catrice, by the way, if you've never tried anything from Catrice, they're a pretty affordable brand. Like, I think the foundation was like $12 maybe at Ulta. I'm just going to lightly set. I'm not gonna use a lot of powder to set my face. I'm going to deliberately go very light. Yeah, this isn't my favorite pressed powder. I like something a little bit finer, a little bit softer, I think. That's not bad. Unlike concealer, powder is something that I'm really not that picky about. I think because in most situations, powder is your friend. It's only here to help. I wonder if this powder would give flashback because it is HD. It doesn't say anything about no flashback on here, so I might get flashback. I feel like I've already been washed out a little by the powder, so that. Ooh, but the skin feels and looks really nice. Like really nice. Ooh. Let me do a couple other things, but I do have a, let me go do a couple other things. I'll be right back. Okay, folks. So I just have a couple of more Catrice, Catrice products, including this powerful five liquid lip balm. So this is Hyaluron, just Hyaluron, vitamin E, shea butter, green tea, and goji berry. Volumizing liquid lip balm with a caring complex of five powerful ingredients, including hyaluronic acid. Okay, it looks like it's like a full coverage kind of gloss is what it seems like. So let's check it out and let's hope that this color works with this wild look I did. Okay, it's not like full, full coverage, but it's definitely there. I don't really think that this color works with my look, but I don't really have anywhere to go or anyone to see today. So I'm gonna leave it on for a little while just cause I kinda wanna see like how it feels. Right now, feels nice. I like it. One more thing before we go. I have this Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. I'm gonna swatch it. I've never tried a highlighter from Catrice, but this one looks promising. So let's give it a go. Okay, let's look kind of there. Let's see if we can build it. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Hello, cheekbones. Ooh, no cast when you're looking forward, but then you turn and bang. Okay, good highlighter. Good highlighter, there's a good highlighter. I better not talk like that or I'm gonna get the dog riled up. Okay, nice, so it is like a little bit buildable, so you can start subtle and then go back and add some more if you really want it like, pa, kapam. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Ooh. Alrighty, well, I will check back in at the end of the day and we will see how this foundation, under eye primer, and concealer wear. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Hello and welcome to day two of my wear test of this foundation. I wanted to go ahead and give this foundation a second day of wear with a different powder. And I also wanted to try this with a concealer that I know I like. So let's start with that concealer. I think I already put her away. Here she is, Liquid Camouflage High Cover Concealer. This one kind of reminds me of Shape Tape a little bit, just in that it is full coverage but it's kind of matte, you know, it really dries, dries down. So with this under it, it looked okay for the first couple of hours, but by the end of the day, it was just like super dried out. And you guys know that I'm inside, outside a lot. I have a horse, so I have to be in the elements at times. So I think that just like the coldness of the outside right now really sucked all of the moisture out from under my eyes. So my concealer situation was not the best yesterday. So I wanted to give this a try underneath my 
normal concealer, my Shiseido concealer that I use a lot. And I think that this is okay. I like it. I don't feel as though it maintains, uh, excuse me. I don't feel as though it maintains that moisture throughout the day as well as this Milani supercharged under eye tint that I've been using. So this is still going to be my preferred under eye concealer, but I guess, you know, if I know that I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for a super long time, this isn't a bad option. I do like the way that it looks under my concealer for the first like few hours or so. And the Shiseido is doing a good job still over it. But like I said, I think that I think that my Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint, I just feel like it maintains the finish a little bit better under the eyes than this one does. I just want this one to work for a little bit longer, you know? I don't dislike it. I'm gonna keep it and I'm probably gonna use it again. I just think that it will kind of be like my second choice to my Milani one, if that makes sense. And then let's talk about this foundation. I really like this foundation. It's really, really, really good. I'm wearing it again today and I used a little bit different powder with it. The powder actually wasn't bad. I don't love the consistency, like the feel of this powder. I think it could be a little bit finer, a little bit softer. It is very mattifying, so it is a pretty dry powder, but it like looked great over the foundation yesterday. So I, that's why I wanted to wear this foundation without this powder to see if the foundation still looked really good with a different powder, if that makes sense. So anyways, I wore this for like 12 hours yesterday, both of these together, wore beautifully. It looked pretty much exactly the same by the end of the day as it did when I put it on at the start of the day. So I was like super impressed, super blown away. I had to find out if it was a fluke, so I wanted to wear it again today. And it's still, it looks really good. I've only had it on for probably like seven hours at this point. So yeah, the foundation is fantastic. The only thing that I think would make it perfect is if it had SPF in it. It does not have SPF, but this foundation reminds me a lot of another drugstore favorite of mine, the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation. I think I have it right here, actually. This foundation is extremely similar to the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. Very, very similar finish and wear and all of that. I think that this one is like a few more dollars. This one tends to be like 15, 16 dollars. I think this one was like 10 to 12 dollars. I could be completely wrong about that. But this one does have SPF 25. This one doesn't have any SPF in it. So I would really, really love and probably use all the time this foundation if it did have, S if it did have SPF in it. Now, I do wear sunscreen every day under my foundation as it is. I kind of just like to double up. It's like a better safe than sorry type of thing. So it's not a huge deal that it doesn't have SPF because I wear sunscreen anyways, but it's just one of those things that it's like, you know, if I'm here to review it and I need to find some kind of critique to give it, that would be the critique. It could have SPF in it, but as far as like the finish, the application, the wear, it is all so good. This guy definitely ranks up there amongst my favorites. Now it says it has, what did it say? It said something kind of weird, like hydrating matte finish. So it's called the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. And it says, leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish. So yeah, I would say that the finish is closer to natural than it is to just fully matte, but it doesn't really have like glowiness to it, if that makes sense. Like it's not radiant, you know, but I would say that natural finish is a good descriptor and it does like kind of lean towards mattifying. So that's part of why I wanted to try it today without this powder is because everything was looking pretty matte, very smooth, nothing settled into lines or caked up or clumped to any part of my face like it really set and wore beautifully yesterday so today I used my Ciate extraordinary translucent powder and we're definitely looking more natural of a finish than we are a matte finish so depending on your powder you can kind of tweak the finish of this foundation a little bit so I'm gonna try to wear it for like a week or two to see if it's going to give me any kind of clogged pores or breakouts or anything like that. And if it doesn't, it's definitely like in my top five favorite drugstore foundations, maybe top five foundations. 
Like everywhere that a foundation usually has a problem on my face, it's just not having that problem. Like normally I get really oily around here, you know, and I'm a little shiny like in my phone camera, but it looks great in person. Same thing with like usually right here on my chin, it'll get a little oily, but then like right in that crevice, you know, like right there, <laughs> it gets a little dry and the foundation wants to collect. And I usually will get some like settling into the smile lines and on the sides of my nose. Everywhere that my foundation normally has a problem, it is not having that problem. And I mean, I've had it on for a good seven hours, seven-ish, eight maybe now, cause I talk forever. <laughs> so it's a good long wear natural finish foundation. I'm loving it. Also, I didn't even mention it yesterday. I didn't even think about it, but I've had this setting spray from Catrice for a long time and it's a really good setting spray. This is their Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. And I think that they have like several variations of setting sprays. So I kind of want to try different ones from them. This one, I just like, I'm almost out. I've been slowly going through it and it's a really nifty little product. The only thing is just, it's very small. <laughs> I think they could probably give us a bigger bottle, but not a huge issue. The highlighter was fantastic. I'm not even wearing any highlighter right now. Let me pull it out. I don't know what to do with the Catrice highlighter, but I have this Juno & Co highlighter that I've been wanting to try. So I'm gonna just do that. You just get a little bonus Juno & Co review. Ooh. Oh, that's, pr oh, oh, oh. I just love highlighter. This one actually, if only I could find it, but this one actually reminds me of that Catrice highlighter I tried yesterday. The highlighter was great. I just, you know, if I can find it, then I will use it some more. This one's also really nice though. Cool, yeah, so Juno & Co highlighter is also approved, as well as that Catrice one that I'm gonna have to hunt down. Use code Collins15 for 15% off at Juno & Co. Last, but probably maybe least, <laughs> is this Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm. This is very okay. I don't love the shade. I think that it looks really pretty in the component, but upon application, it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of an orangey kind of warm undertone and I don't love that. And as far as like lip products go, I kind of either like it to be just opaque or just like be a gloss, you know? I don't really love this kind of like slightly tinted, but still kind of sheer consistency of a lip product. That's just not really what I tend to gravitate towards. As far as like, how is the product itself? It's a good product. Like it's a very lightweight, very comfortable gloss. And I mean, they're calling it a lip balm on here. So perhaps this is supposed to be like a more hydrating like lip product. So that's really cool. It's just not like my personal preference for a lip product, but if you do like these types of products, then you would probably really like this. It's a really good product, just my personal preference, not something that I'm likely going to get a lot of use out of. I might return it. So yeah, that's all of my cat rice stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever tried Catrice? What's your favorite stuff from Catrice? Big winner was definitely this foundation. If you were thinking about trying it, highly recommend. I am loving it. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will come back and watch another one again very soon. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.